Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my training sessions on AWS CDK. And in these through these videos, we are learning how to build the infra for any full stack application like we are covering Uber Eats clone, which has a microservices front end, back end, and which has a React apps, next uh, next year's app, SwellKit app. So we are understanding how AWS CDK works and we are covering some demo examples. So in this video, we are going to cover how you can deploy a simple client-side rendered application like React, AngularJS, Swell.js, all these applications uh, on AWS platform using CloudFront, S3 Bucket and Route 53. Okay, so we have already covered a lot of examples. This is our code base we were using. So what I'm going to do is I will copy this example app and I will paste this in the packages and I will just rename it to let's say CloudFront S3 okay because we are going to use the stack to deploy our front-end application so what all uh, constructs you need we just need a one single stack inside that stack we can have a multiple constructs constructs will be okay if you are if you don't have any route if you don't have any domain already registered then you need to create a hosted zone that will be created using route 53 cloudfront s3 bucket and you may need a certificate if you are not using route 53 then you have to get a certificate through the certificate manager and then add that certificate to the cloudfront distribution and s3 bucket so let's start our journey here we will just do the some renaming because it's using this demo stack we are going to just change this stack to you can say cloudfront app stack okay and uh, this is little slow cloudfront app stack and here we are just going to just change it to cloudfront app stack From the lab, we will just change it to CloudFront and uh, we just rename the files and remove these old files. I mean, the built output files we will just remove. I don't like this VS Code sometimes. Okay, then inside our CDK JSON, we need to change this to CloudFront app.ts. So that we can deploy, build all these things can happen. And here we will be using CloudFront app stack. And we need to just use this CloudFront app stack. Okay. So our stack is ready. We can just do a simple build inside packages. We have CloudFront S3 npm run build. Okay, we got some error. Okay, we need to update the package JSON name. CloudFront demo app. NPM run build. It already copied the same dependencies. So it is going to build successfully. And now, here we can also pass the stage. Stage is same process dot env dot stage. From the environment, we are passing this. And CloudFront stack here, we can just create an interface. CloudFront app props extends CDK uh, dot stack props. And here we are saying stage is optional that is being passed as a string. And here we can access this props is required. This is really naughty bug. Okay, props is required and we are accessing the stage from that. So here because it can be string or undefined. So we'll just make it required. We are going to pass it and here we can get a stage. So similarly, we can pass uh, multiple attributes and we can extend this props cdk dot stack props by our own interface now what else we what else we need we need to create a s3 bucket const 
स्टैटिक वेबसाइट बकेट ओके एंड वी आर गोइंग टू यूज सी डी के न्यू सी डी के डॉट ए डब्ल्यू एस एस थ्री डॉट बकेट ओके सो वॉट ऑल पैरामीटर्स वी आर गोइंग टू पास द कॉन्टेक्सट दिस एंड द बकेट नेम so here you can see react app and you can just pass your stage this is your bucket name and remaining all the other properties so what all properties we need to pass bucket name which can be react app okay React app stage okay what else uh, bucket name we have website index document so the, the that is a string argument so what is index document is index.html website error document that will also be index.html i mean these things we used to manually specify and the removal policy we are going to retain it cdk cdk dot removal policy dot destroy i mean that depends on you want to retain destroy so this is just our simple s3 bucket now in this bucket what we are going to do we will add the policies dot add to policy add to resource policy and here we can attach a policy so how we do it is new cdk dot aws im because through im we attach a policy policy document and inside policy document we will specify what is inside policy uh, service id okay and then effect which is allow and all it's in what's complaining so SID let's say put anything okay I am policy document it should be policy statement not a document and then you just specify SID effect is CDK dot aws im dot effect dot allow i mean this is how we have defined the permissions also for the lambda actions actions what is the actions we want on this s3 bucket we wanted to read the data from the s3 bucket right so this is s3 colon this is the permission this is a standard permission definition s3 get objects okay principle so principles like new cdk dot aws im dot any principle and then resources on which resource you are applying this permission so that is on this bucket so we don't have bucket we have we need to specify bucket arn dot bucket arn and forward slash so here we are trying to here we are saying this is we are adding a resource policy that we are allowing you to read from this s3 bucket this is the operations s3 get objects is allowed on this particular bucket so s3 bucket public read okay this is effects it is simple effect okay so now our s3 bucket is ready what else we need to create is we need to create a distribution cloud front distribution for this so const const distribution Cons distribution equal to new cdk 
dot aws cloudfront dot distribution and inside this we pass a lot of things the context current scope and the cloudfront distribution name which is react app cdn react app cloudfront distro and here you can add a stage to this and then remaining the object so what else we can pass this is new cdk aws cloudfront distribution and cloudfront distribution name and then this is an object inside this we will just pass multiple options like like we need to check the documentation but i think default behavior is one and then i mean what is the origin of this cloud front then comment default behavior so what is the origin for this cloud front cloud front is a cdn so cdn needs to look into this s3 bucket right so new aws uh, new cdk dot aws cloud front dot cloud front origins aws cloud front origins dot s3 origin i need to look into documentation sometimes how it really works and then you need to pass the static website this is your origin and then price class i mean which pricing you are setting for this cdk dot aws cloud front dot price class dot price class 100 so these are the price classes decided like what is the price class you wanted to use so cloud front distro for react app okay this is the distribution we have created now what we need we have a distribution already created for the s3 bucket we can just deploy this particular stack so it should create a s3 bucket and this resource policy on the s3 bucket we are allowing public read on the s3 bucket and then this distribution which is targeting this s3 bucket because you can see the origin is this s3 bucket here and then we can enable the deployment i mean i just need to have just a one folder in this let's say which contains uh, let's say build output and i'm just adding a index dot html which says is h1 okay this is our index document that we are going to deploy so you can also create a bucket deployment there is a process for doing that so let's see where we are this is our constructor okay let me just see so we are we have created distribution now we need to create simple bucket deployment so cdk dot aws s3 deployment dot bucket deployment and it will just ask you okay how you want to deploy so this is like okay react app deployment you can pass stage like i'm just doing it for the development and then the whole object inside this object you can just pass the distribution path or destination bucket destination bucket so your bucket name is this static website and what else we can pass uh, i'm just checking the documentation source i mean from which folder you are so source means uh, which particular zip file or the folder in which you already have the build output of the react app which you want to put in the s3 bucket so cdk dot aws s3 deployment dot source dot assets and inside assets you can specify the path 
So let's say here we are going to get the path from the props. So we will get the path of this S3 simple index.html document and we are passing the path and rest you can just add a cache control which is I'm tired of writing this every time. So deployment dot cache control dot max age which is here you can specify the CDK dot duration dot days is let's say one day. This is the cache duration and you can pass the distribution which you have created for this. So here we have created a distribution. Okay, this is the distribution. So I mean our CloudFront stack is ready and this is how we are we are going to pass two properties here we need to pass the path also so the path what is the path path is the directory from which we are going to pass because we need to specify the directory so path dot join directory name and from here we need to go one directory up and in that case we have a react app that is the directory name that's it so we are passing the path as another props and now what we need to do npm run cdk deploy this is just another stack okay so let's bootstrap this So we need to get this account and the CDK default region. All these things I need to set and I will just do a deploy. 